What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Crystal Sykes, KetoBrick.com. And today is another Keto Savage Kitchen episode. We are making, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, Zupa Toscana Soup. That's probably totally wrong. Um, but I was asking our crew what would be a good recipe to make today, and Brandon, our project manager, loves this stuff. He says it's really popular at Olive Garden. Is that what you said, Olive Garden? Yeah, Olive Garden. Yeah, I've been to Olive Garden in Ever. years. Yeah. Um, so I've never had this, but he says he loves it. His wife makes him a keto-fied version of this, and I told him I'm gonna try and make it, and he's gonna have to try some, and if it tastes better than his wife makes it, he's gotta then let me know. Then we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna kinda add our own little spin to this soup recipe, but the ingredients are one pound sausage. Ideally, you wanna use Italian sausage. We couldn't find any of that, so we just have all natural Jimmy Dean sausage. And the reason we chose Jimmy Dean was because that was the only one without... Sugars. Yeah, corn and syrup, syrup and, and all that. Four slices of bacon. If you like bacon, you could be a little bit more liberal. Um, one head of cauliflower. With a lot of the keto soup recipes, normally they have a potato in there and you could either add a radish or cauliflower or a combination of the two to kind of substitute the potato. Um, 32 ounces of bone broth. We have half a onion, so either one small onion or half a large onion, or half a small onion. <laughs> um, Ours is like uh, three inside. cloves of garlic, one half cup heavy cream, and two cups kale, and this is for the entire batch. Mm -hmm. um, or you, if you don't want the kale, you can use spinach. spinach yeah. What do we got, babe? So 2,785 calories, 217 grams of fat, 123 grams of protein and 85 grams of carbs. Uh, I had to really try and do my best to figure out a um, happy medium on all the vegetables because there's a lot that under guess and there's a lot that over guess. So that was just a guesstimation. Yeah, um, and again, most that's fiber from the vegetables. Yes. Um, so 70% of it is fat, 17.7% of, of this is protein and 12.3% of it is carbs. Now, let's make this thing. All right, we are back. We have all of our ingredients laid on the table right now. Um, anything interesting about these ingredients? We're using kettle and fire for the bone broth, and we're using like this Parmesan that we have here. This isn't in the recipe because it's kind of more of like a two taste thing. Same is true with the crushed red pepper. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of both of these on top when it's done. Um, so feel free to add whatever additional ingredients you choose. You can also use three cloves of garlic, um, but we already had this stuff and I like to use what we already have. So we're gonna keep this rather than the fresh garlic. Let's do it. Um, also, so my little interesting spin on this, I've got some spare beef ribs in the smoker right now. That's not part of the Keto Steps Kitchen recipe, but I've been smoking them all day long. And I want to try and smoke this soup because I've heard that's tasty. So we're going to make it in the cast iron pot here. And then we're going to smoke it and finish it off in the smoker. If you don't have a smoker or you don't want to fool around with letting it smoke for several hours, then all you have to do is basically when you finish what we're about to do, just put a lid on your pot and then let it kind of steam and stew and simmer for another 15 or 20 minutes or so. So easy way to do that. We're just wanting to go for that smoky flavor because I've already got the smoker running. So that said, let's get the induction cooktop going and throw on the Dutch oven. One of the nice things about having an induction cooktop is it's super safe and it's portable, which is nice. And if you have cast iron like we do or a stainless steel skillet, you can use it and it works beautifully. All right, so first things first, this is kind of noisy, so hopefully it's not gonna affect the audio too much. If it does, just bear with us. We are going to cook up the sausage and we're going to throw in the bacon. We're gonna chop up the bacon into small pieces, like bite-sized pieces, and cook down there with the sausage. <laughs> I only find it funny because I did that like twice this week. I just cut myself on our nice new knives, so, um, Add that to the sauce there. Just joking. You want to chop up some? You want me to hold it? Yeah. You didn't get any blood on it? No, it was on the end. You know, cut up some. 
some bacon here. We don't have any band-aids, so we're just gonna rock this bloody finger. He's in the kitchen. I'm gonna be eating this, so I don't really care. My blood's just... <laughs> just Robert, <dead. laughs> go wrap it in like a toilet paper or something. There's... These knives are sharp, by the Do way. Do you want to get me a vet cutting board so I don't have to cut on here? So go ahead and add your bacon in with your sausage and just cook that up nice and good. All right, so while I am cooking and breaking up the bacon and the sausage, browning that, Crystal is going to chop up some cauliflower into small bite-sized florets. 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 Be careful, that knife's sharp. All right, so once your bacon and your sausage is pretty well cooked, you can go ahead and start adding in your cauliflower florets and kind of get those little charred and um, sauteed in there as well. Don't bleed over everything. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of mixing things up a little bit. We're we're not we like cauliflower, but we're not cauliflower junkies, so we're not gonna put in the last probably about one third piece probably. of the cauliflower, which is probably gonna reduce the total carbs that we listed by like yeah. I don't know twenty grams or so. Yeah, we also kind of chose to go a little bit lighter on the onion as well. Yeah, so that's kind of like personal, personal preference. Yeah. Basically, you want to just get all of the cauliflower and all the onion. She's about to dice that up and put that in here. And then we're basically just going to saute that and then get everything coated in a good layer of bacon and sausage grease. All right, go ahead and add your onion. Stir that in really good. Be so kind as to add the garlic as well, baby doll. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper now for good measure. Rocking that Redmond real salt. So now that all that's mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and add our bone broth. Um, some people prefer to put the kale slash spinach in last. Some people prefer to put it in earlier. You do whatever you want to do. If you want a softer kale, then put it in earlier. If you want more of a crunchy kale and you want your soup al dente, you put it in last. I would rather have it in first. Don't put the heavy cream in though. I'm not putting it in yet. All right, some bone broth. Chop some of that up, baby doll. All right, so 32 ounces of the bone broth, so two of these 16 ounce containers. That worked out perfect. And then just stir all that in. We both are doing like our normal, like what we do when we are focused. Which is what? Robert does a weird thing with his lips and he's like. <laughs> a focus face? What are you doing? Like, I flare my nostrils. You flare your nose. I like sit here and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know why I do it. If there's any chef out there watching this, they're probably dying at me and the way I've been like chopping and all of this stuff. I'm not a professional chopper? Definitely not a professional chopper. All right, so go ahead and add all of your chopped kale and stir that in really good. All right, so now that everything's pretty much stirred in, at this point you could either put the lid on there, let it simmer for another 15 or 20 minutes, and then move on to the next step, or if you're gonna do the smoked version like we are, you leave the top off of it, and then you put in the smoker so that all that smoke flavor gets into it. Um, so I'm about to put this on the smoker right now. All 
All right, y'all, so we just pulled the smoked soup from the smoker. In case y'all are wondering, it's been at about 225 degrees on the smoker. The ribs are in there smoking as well. Um, so now, basically, if you did not smoke the soup and you just let your soup simmer for another 15 or 20 minutes with the lid on, on low heat, you would be at the stage that we're at now. So we're gonna add one half cup of the heavy cream and stir that in really good. And then we're going to add, we're gonna, we're gonna kinda get a little creative here since we're doing like a taste test. So now that that has been added. Do you have any salt in it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in there though. I don't know where the pepper is. All right, so Crystal and I are gonna taste test this, but then also Brandon is gonna taste test this, and Jonathan, because he's here too. And keep in mind, Brandon is the one that recommended don't us make cheese? this. Huh? Don't you want cheese? Yeah, I'm gonna put cheese on top of that. Oh, I gotta mix cheese in the whole thing. Make it cheesy. Make it cheesy? It's a lot of food. All right, so you put your Parmesan cheese on top. Did you add any of the crushed pepper? I'm doing that next. Jeez. <laughs> All right. We got Jonathan, Jonathan messing up the lights. So fan. Man, Jonathan. <laughs> All right. So we have our cheese, and then we're going to put a dash of red pepper on there, because that's what we're supposed to do, apparently. And of course, we're not prepared, and this thing has not been taken off yet. Here you go, babe. <laughs> And this is um, this is actually Brandon's job right here. Yeah, taking off like, the hard. Yeah, this is his calling in life right yeah. here. <laughs> Peel things off. Okay, and this is how I told them I should, they should do it. All right, boom. Now sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Just a little bit. Y'all can go ahead and get in the camera if y'all want. Y'all want to just that come behind more, the table? More? Sure. Kind of tight fit in here, but yeah, we got the whole crew. Probably um, just get that way a little bit. So. Brandon, we'll let you do it first since you suggested it. Right. Make sure you get the cheese. All right, your wife is about to realize that she has been outdone <laughs> on this recipe. Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> All right, let me see here. I hope it's good. Probably I'm super hot. hot. <laughs> yeah. You want an ice cube, bro? <laughs> Pretty good? That is very good. Not as good as his wife's though, because he's not allowed to say that. <laughs> you can tell me off camera, so okay. <laughs> we'll talk later. You wanna try it, Jonathan? Yeah, since I'm here. Alright, you know, might yeah. as well go for it. <laughs> Every time we have Jonathan taste test something, he's like, oh, so good. So I'm expecting something <laughs> similar. <laughs> it is really good. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> it is really good, though. I haven't had a bad recipe. Y'all haven't made a bad recipe for me. Yeah. One day, one day it'll come, and I'm just going to go all out, puke in the trash can. No, we don't, we don't have that. <laughs> we don't make bad recipes. They're all good. It's pretty hot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. oh. I gotta try this thing here. That is pretty good. It is pretty good? Yeah. It's like, um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be like too heavy. You know how soup's gonna be like yeah. heavy or thick. I can definitely taste the fact that we smoked it. Can mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the sauce, the broth, sauce, juice, whatever. Wow, babe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he said a wow, babe, like that was something I would normally do. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so we're price point grading it. I feel like it's, I think it was super affordable. Yeah, I like mean, that like is a sausage. Whole yeah, it's a whole family meal, sausage, uh, bacon, vegetables. So <laughs> super cheap. Um, so I'm gonna give it like a should we give it a ten on price? Yeah. I feel like we should give it a ten yeah. price. It was really, like, everything in there was super affordable, and there it wasn't, like, a full anything. Like, What about on uh, nutritional density? Uh, I, thought, I would say probably a 
probably an eight or a nine. The only reason being is we didn't get like a super great um, pork. If you have or, a better sorry, quality meat, it'll yeah. be higher rank. Yes, we, we could have gotten a better sausage, but we did not go to the right store. And then what are we grading it on ease of creation? It's pretty simple, but I don't, I mean, it's, it does require multiple steps and cutting things up and whatnot, so. I really enjoy you cut, that. I cut my finger, so yeah, that, that automatically true. makes it harder. Okay, I'd say seven. Seven? Like, as, like, someone who actually enjoys doing that, I would probably be like, oh, that was super simple. Like, you could just chop it up, throw it in there, and it's good to go. But for someone like Robert, who doesn't really enjoy doing those steps, I'd say it's like a seven. Taste? We're going to give it out of ten. Oh, I, I love this stuff, so I put it right up there at a 10. What I is your wife's? 11. <laughs> <laughs> nine and a half? You can go ahead and tell her it's nine and a half. Nine and a half. half. Nobody cooks better than you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Jonathan? Uh, I'll give it a nine. Nine? Yeah. Is I, the bacon brick better? Of course. Oh, it's so good. Now, it's also <laughs> kind of fruit. <laughs> Like, uh, we'll do this on a regular basis and all five kids they like this? devour it, yes. Did we do it right? Like, this is the first time we made yes. it. Is this kind of what it's supposed to taste like? Yes. Okay, yes. I guess it's like, on point. With this, like, the way it tastes, like, for me, like, I would want it to be a little bit spicier. Like, it would be a 10 if, like, there's a little, like, like more spice on top. More spice. Okay. Well, they, oh, they do have, good. um, this stuff. Maybe I just didn't and put enough. And you should be able to add to your, like, I'll just sprinkle some on table. every bite, yeah. <laughs> I'll sprinkle some a little. I didn't think I... I'm just, I mean, I think I just is, got one of those. And this is my yeah, eighth nice. bite or so. There's so. some heat. Yeah, you're going to feel it now. That's what you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We also didn't get Italian sausage, which <clears throat> is what we should have gotten, but we didn't Ooh. because it had the corn syrup in it. I'm giving it a nine and a half. Oh, and I'm wow. not even a soup really guy. Yeah. I like it a lot. So, that said, we will see y'all for the next episode soon. Don't know when, but soon. Y'all have a great, great day. By the way, this is Friday's vlog. Today's Thursday, this is Friday's vlog. I'm not doing videos on Saturday and Sunday anymore. So, we are doing the Keto Brick launch on Sunday at 12 noon Central Standard Time. Chocolate maple bacon. We've all had it, we all love it. And we're also gonna do more I'm training. I'm in the middle of eating one right now. Yeah. We're also <laughs> gonna do more training tutorial videos. So those are coming soon as well. And we're, we might even record another Bands with Brandon episode. Mm -hmm. So get ready yes. for that. And that is all I've got to say. Any other words? you have anything else to say? No. We love y'all. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>